I am filming today from the Oregon coast. Very, very happy to be here. We're up here for a few days and I thought that while I'm here, maybe I would sit down and chit chat with you a little bit and share some of the changes that I'm planning for my channel. So stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. First of all, if I'm squinting or doing this, that is because our hotel room here, I'm sitting on the balcony, is facing due west and I'm filming at sunset and the sun is right there in my eyes. And if I'm looking away, it's because there's a kite up there that looks like a bird. So I was looking at that for a second. And then, you know, I have the beautiful ocean here. It's, it's really incredible. I'll turn the camera around and show you what I'm looking at so you can picture it better. We have been in Oregon now for three weeks. If you don't know, where have you been? Paul and I and all the animals, we just moved up here. We relocated from Houston, Texas. We came up here a little more than a year ago on a trip to the coast absolutely fell in love with it, knew that we needed to move up here, and we've been very fortunate enough to make that happen. So we've been here for about three weeks. We're living in a city called Lake Oswego, which is just south of Portland. It's so beautiful there. We're loving it so far. But the reason we left so quickly to come out to the coast is not only that we wanted to be out here and enjoy it again, but also we needed a break because we've been working nonstop for the last few weeks with the relocation. Actually, the last two months or so with packing and the relocation and unpacking and all kinds of things. And overall, that's going really well. There have been a few hiccups here and there. I did vlog our trip up here. We took 11 days. We drove in one car with the two of us, the two dogs, and Vincent, my parrot. And we stayed in a bunch of different places. We had a blast on the road trip. It was great and saw some of the most beautiful parts of America. So I did vlog that and I will have that up for you hopefully next week because I definitely want you to see some of the things that we saw and share in some of that. So what changes am I planning to make to the channel? So currently I do three videos a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And for the most part, they're all about handbags and other luxury products. What I'm thinking, for a few different reasons, is for my Thursday video that I might start doing a weekly vlog. Lots of reasons for this. So we're new to Oregon and I'm thinking we're going to be out exploring things so that's a way to share that with you. It's also a way to push us, motivate us to get out of the house and go do something every week. I also want to practice my vlogging filmmaking skills because I really enjoy vlogging but like on this trip I've been vlogging and I have found I found it pretty difficult. There's a seagull just flying in front of the sun. It's beautiful here. This is, this is why we live here now. I mean, that's not why, but that's one of the many, many, many reasons why it's beautiful. What was I talking about? Oh, I have found it difficult on this trip to vlog in the way that I want to vlog. First of all, I'm out of practice, but second of all, it's hard to vlog when you're trying to also enjoy what you're doing, because if you're vlogging really well and you're trying to make it you're trying to do like filmmaking style, make it look really good. It takes a lot of planning. It's not spur of the moment like, hey, we're out enjoying something and I pick up my cell phone, for example, which first of all, I don't film with my cell phone except on rare occasions. I have this big setup that you can't see. I don't know if you can see a reflection, you're probably not in the window behind me. It's a lot harder and more time consuming using my vlogging and camera, but it's better quality that way. But you have to plan things out if you're doing it well, and that makes it difficult to just go about your day and enjoy things. Also, I often benefit greatly from help, and I don't want to put Paul in a position where he's my vlogging assistant when we're on vacation, you know? I try to be respectful of that, and he's super supportive of all the YouTube stuff, and he definitely is my YouTube assistant very often, but 
I am conscious of that and trying to be respectful and, and not making his vacation all about my work. In doing a vlog every week, I can get a lot more practice and get better at it and that's a creative outlet for me that I've been wanting to work on for a while and haven't had time to do. I know that not everybody is going to be interested in a vlog every week. That's fine. I'm, I'm doing it for you guys because I know there are a lot of people who are interested, but I'm really also doing it for myself for that creative outlet, like I said. Otherwise, Tuesday and Saturday videos should be pretty much the same. I still have quite a few videos that are pre-filmed, so you'll still be seeing some videos from my old studio. Um, not sure how many you'll be seeing from my new studio for a while because it's nowhere near set up. I have moved things into it, but three weeks after I move, everything is still in boxes because I'm still trying to find the right furniture. We've been focusing on the common areas, getting the kitchen together and the living room and all that. And I'm being very particular about the furniture that I want to add to my studio. And I'm trying to get pieces that all work together and that check all kinds of boxes. I'm still shopping. I feel like I've narrowed it down a lot, but still some work to do before I get to that point. And then later this month, my mom is coming to visit. So I'm sure I'll be vlogging some of that as well. And we have preparations there. so. We've just been super, super busy. I know some people have commented that they're excited to see the new studio, the new setup, or new life here, and so all that is coming, but it won't be immediate. It's gonna take some time to get to that point. What else can I tell you about? Oh, I have a question for you. You know I do that intro where, you know, you know my intro, that whole long thing, the whole spiel. I feel like that doesn't work so much with the vlogs, so I want to figure something else out for those, but still let people know that it's primarily a luxury channel, so if you have any ideas for that, let me know. Otherwise, it's something I need to be working on. And if you have any other ideas, whether it's for vlogs or for handbag videos or whatever, let me know that as well. I'll definitely be doing some content around how I packed some of the things that we took in the car with us, like some of the handbags and more expensive, hard to replace items. I'll have a video about how I'm setting up my room and the process of that. I also have a video coming up of the entire bag collection that I decided to bring with me. Because as you guys know, some of you, I had a big vlog sale before I left so that I wouldn't be taking as much with me. I still have things I, I want to get rid of at this point. So there's probably going to be another vlog sale coming, but I'm nowhere near ready for that. The animals have been having a great time here. Roxy is really loving having a first floor porch so she can see out the glass doors and she can bark at everything she sees. Baron is enjoying it. We are so loving the weather. It's overall so much cooler than it was in Houston and we appreciate it so much. That's a big reason why we moved too. Vincent is also enjoying it. I'll have some things to share with you about her. Some few changes with her home environment and you'll see in I guess the next two vlogs the one from here and the road trip that I got a bird backpack so we're now able to take her out on adventures with the dogs and not have to leave her at home so that's pretty cool I know there's some people out there who really care about Vincent and want to know that she's doing well on this trip she did great on the trip Baron, Baron did the worst on the trip he was not happy to be in the car that long but Roxy loved it and Vincent loved it. Vincent was talking and whistling so much. She really enjoyed watching the world go by. We had her travel cage set up in the car where she could see out the windows and she had so much fun. You'll get to see some of that in, in the road trip vlog. Well, I tried to set the camera up where you could see some reflections in the window back here to maybe see the ocean, but I'm not sure. I couldn't see the, the picture when I was setting it up because the sun was blinding me. And now that it's setting some, I can see it a little better, so I don't know. I think maybe all you can see is the curtains there. Let me turn the camera around and show you what I'm looking at because we've got to share this. It's pretty beautiful. There's my reflection in the window, so you can see the reflection of the beach there. I guess you couldn't see that over here, face that way. But you can see the camera set up a little bit. Where I've got this fuzzy microphone on top and the camera here and a tripod. And let's just let's pan over and look at this. We are at this hotel right on the water and we're on the first floor. I'm going to pan down a little bit. You can see all these sea grasses in front of us in the dunes. And there's the sunset right now. 
it will start turning pink pretty soon. And as we move over here, you can see down the beach. It's been very foggy here in the morning. I think you can see, let me zoom in. You can see some fog still over there in the distance. But it's been so foggy that you can't see the ocean at all. We couldn't see it until about noon today because the fog came right up to the end of the dunes. We couldn't even see the beach for a long time. We've been having a lot of fun walking out there. And the water here is ice cold and I was walking in it yesterday, it was wonderful. Can you see Bear in there? And Roxy's back there, they wanna come in, or out. Hi guys, how are you? Say hi to YouTube, all your fans. Hello Roxy, hello Baron. hi. And there's Vincent for those of you who wanna see her. She's such a good bird. Are you having fun Vincent? You're enjoying your vacation? Roxy, could you stop moving the camera, please? Hello. <whistles> Hi. Hi, Vincent. Wanna wave to people? Not so much? Okay. And there's Paul. Hello, everybody. I'm here with my favorite <laughs> little girl dog. That's Roxy. Mm -hmm. Baron is right there. Hey, Bear. I'm about to go out on the deck and see if I can photograph the sunset. It looks like there's some clouds forming in the west and we'll see how it goes. There have been lots of people out here flying kites. Here's one right in the sunset. Isn't that nice? It's kind of how that seagull looked a minute ago when it flew by. Paul has now joined me on the balcony. Let's see what he's taking pictures of here. There it is. The sunset has progressed. I think it's still going to get better from here, but that's what it looks like now. Well, the sunset fizzled out pretty quickly after that last bit that I showed you, but it is still pretty, of course. And I think I forgot to mention earlier that another reason that we are on the coast right now is because in Lake Oswego, where we live now, it's still so weird to say, the temperatures for the last few days have been over 100 degrees, which is insane. It, that's very rare up here. Although apparently from what we're hearing, it's becoming more common. But we're in an older building, which is also common up here, that does not have air conditioning. That's, that's a pretty normal thing up here. Not normal where we're from in Houston. But because we didn't have air conditioning in that weather, we thought, let's leave and not just sit in an oven for four days. And let's go over to the coast where the high yesterday was 68 degrees. How is there such a big difference between the two? Where we are now, we're in Lincoln City, by the way. I think I forgot to mention that too. It's about two hours from where we live. And in Houston, you drive two hours in any direction. And well, in one direction, you're in the Gulf of Mexico and it's still hot there, but any other direction too, it's still the same horrible heat and humidity. But here, it's about a 40 degree difference. It's incredible. So I'll leave you now with this one last image of the sunset tonight. We are packing up and leaving in the morning to go back home. It's only gonna be 93 tomorrow, but we've already extended our stay for a day. So we're gonna go ahead and get back home and get back to work with the unpacking and the settling in, which we're enjoying. It's just a lot of work. All right, you guys have a fantastic week and thank you for watching. I will see you back here next time. Bye.